Hey, it's Jonesy with Jetters Northwest out here with Chris Boyles, man in the camera. And it's our Drain Invader X Jetter. We get asked every once in a while, especially on social media, hey, can a Drain Invader suck out of a water tank so you don't have to hook up a garden hose or some sort of feeder hose to it when you're inside a building? Well, we're going to demonstrate the right way to do this. Number one, you can see that we hooked up a nice three-quarter inch rubbery type of hose on here. It's not a cheap little plastic half inch or five eighths garden hose from the hardware store. We cut a very short length. We've got it drawing out of the bottom of the tank. You don't want to go up and in and try to pull a suction lift. That's called a loop in the suction. That's a cardinal sin of pumping high pressure. I made sure that the garden hose connection is nice and good. You could do all things right, but if you don't have a good garden hose gasket in there, you're going to suck air and have issues. So we're all set up here. We have a nice head of water. 10 gallons goes quite a ways when you got a jetter that does about a gallon and a half a minute. So, will it suck out of the tank? Cruising. No problem. And like I said, you can go quite a ways with 10 gallons of water. So, you know, got to be careful if you're going to try to use a five gallon bucket or something to create, again, that suction from down below or maybe the bottom side of your little tank. If any of you have a little water tank on a little cart, yes, you can get those kind of things done. Drain Innovator from Jetters Northwest. Get out there and get jetting.